Hey, what's up guys? Nick here. Welcome back to day 19 of Daily December. I hope all of you have had a great month so far. I hope all of you have been enjoying the uploads so far this month. We're about two thirds of the way through now. We're getting there slowly but surely. It's been an absolute blast so far, so I'm excited to keep on going. I thought we would start today's video off by opening day 19 of my advent calendar together. If you have no idea what an advent calendar is, basically it's full of different days with dates on them. You open up the little slot and you get a piece of chocolate. You do this up until the 24th of December. Okay, well hopefully I don't make an absolute mess of this because the box has been basically through war this month with me trying to get my chocolate, so <laughs> I'm not very smooth at it, okay? We've opened it up. Let me get my chocolate. Ooh, hell yeah. My prize. Look at this. Chocolate. That's basically it. Merry Christmas. So you're probably reading the title of today's video and wondering what I'm on about. Nick, what have you achieved? What have you finally done? Well, in Halo Reach on the MCC, I have finally unlocked my armor. For me in Halo, armor customization is one of the most important parts. I think making your Spartan look a specific way is probably my favorite thing about it. So if you guys have followed me since my content creation on Halo 5, you'll know that my Spartan always looks a very precise way. In Halo 5, I have the Helljumper helmet along with George's chest piece, so basically the part with the big barrel on the chest. So finally in Halo Reach on the MCC, I have unlocked both the ODST helmet and George's chest piece, so I can finally have my Spartan looking exactly the way that I want him to in this game. If I do say so myself, I think my Spartan looks absolutely beautiful. He is a really, really thick boy. Okay, as a lot of people on Twitter like to point out he is extremely chonky, but that's okay But I want you guys to drop a comment down below Have you unlocked your armor in Halo Reach just yet? Or is it gonna be like tier 80 something before you finally get there? Let me know down in the comments I'd be very very interested in seeing what all you guys want But talking about making yourself look good You might notice that I'm wearing a very specific hoodie in today's video. That's right My brand new merch is now available of course I have to promote it at some point. But my new merch has finally gone live over on my website, ubernick.com, or if you click the link in the description, it will also take you there. There you will find t-shirts, hoodies, and loads of different colors and different versions of this design. So if you're interested at all, in getting some Ubernick merch, please consider checking it out. Merchandise is a fantastic way of supporting me. It is also coming up to Christmas, so who knows if you're looking for a really, really comfy hoodie to wear when you're gaming or out and about with your friends, this is one that I can highly recommend. You always hear YouTubers talking about their merch and how it's the comfiest stuff out there, but I can literally guarantee I could live in this hoodie. It is so, so cozy. So I'll mention it one more time. I'll keep it brief, ubernick.com or the link at the top of the description to check out all the designs and clothing available on the website. It's a great way to support me. So yes, I won't do this again for a while. I just have to get it right there, let you guys know about my merch. So anyway, let's move on, get into your game so I can finally show off my armor, flex it in the game because I feel pretty damn good about myself. Okay, we're now in a game of big team battle, but I wanted to go back a little bit on what I was saying about customization and just why I enjoy it so much in Halo. Obviously, as you can tell from my character, he's a bit of a thick boy. He's very, very chunky in certain areas, which is just how I prefer my characters in Halo to look. It's probably why George is my favorite character, actually, just because I really, really like how big and bulky and just badass he looks in his armor. But if you're someone in Halo that likes your characters to look a bit more finessey, a little bit more, you know, sleek looking, I guess, you can totally do that. You can make them look whatever way you want, and I really, really hope they continue to add to the customization offerings with Halo Infinite. It has actually already been confirmed that Halo Infinite's customization is going to be a lot like Reach's in the terms that it's going to be kind of nutty with the amount of options we're going to have. So I'm a huge fan of that. I can totally, totally get behind that. I do really hope that the unlock system in Infinite is going to be a lot different from what we've seen before. I think Reach's system was also probably the best in the series as well because it really put all the control in the player's hands. That was so annoying getting ran down by a hammer. Oh, I didn't even know there was a hammer on this map, to be honest with you. But if you have no idea how Reach's credit system worked or how you went about unlocking armor back in that game, whatever it first came out, I'll give you a brief rundown. Basically, every single time you played a game of multiplayer, firefight, campaign, custom games, anything of the sorts, you got some credits at the end of the game. You could then take those credits and buy a piece of armor or whatever, you know, an armor effect, whatever it may be, in the item shop. I feel like when people say item shop, they think of Fortnite that's full of microtransactions, but there were zero microtransactions in Halo Reach unless you count DLC. And I thought the system was pretty much perfect. I saw literally nothing wrong with it because it put 
all of the options, all of the choice in the player's hands. You know, you could unlock whatever you want as soon as you have enough credits for it. The problem with the MCC unlock system is there's no kind of customization, there's no personalization to it. You kind of see everyone unlocking all the armor at the same time because, you know, people are playing the game at the same rate. So a lot of people are going to have the same armor round about the same time. So you see a lot of the same Spartans running about as people unlock new stuff. The credit system is so good because it lets people buy stuff whenever they want. If they want to make that decision to save up loads of credits from the beginning to buy a really badass helmet, they can do that. Or unless they want to go for a more basic helmet just so they have something different from the from the rest of the people near the beginning, they can do that. So I really don't think we're going to get a system like Halo 5's which was completely random with the rec packs. If they give the player's choice, if they let us unlock stuff in the order that we want, I think that will be for the best. I think they know this is what people would like as well. The Air Force 3 have done a fantastic job at looking up players' feedback and kind of taking that into account lately. So hopefully this is something they really listen to. But I want you guys to drop a comment down below. What was your favorite unlock system out of every Halo game? I'm expecting every comment to be Halo Reach, but if you have something different, please let me know. I would be super, super interested in reading. But all I'm saying is Infinite needs to have my ODST and George's chess piece. It needs to be in there. If it's not, I will write a very, very strongly worded letter, okay? I will not be happy whatsoever, but I think it should be okay. Buck has the ODST helmet, George is an iconic character, so I think my armor is safe, so hopefully all of your armor is as well. If you're someone out there whose favorite armor is a super, super weird one that's not that common, my fingers are crossed that it makes its way into Halo Infinite as well. 343 actually yesterday did a brand new patch or a little update to the MCC. It was nothing major, it was just a couple small bug fixes that I'll put on the screen right now but they actually did adjust how the mouse works while you're in combat so I think it like reduces flinch or something like that I'm not 100% sure because I've not played that many games since the little patch went out but it's nice that they're already supporting the game I should not have jumped in this Falcon this was a grave mistake oh no dude oh no there was two of them there but I'm really excited to see how they continue to patch and update this game as time goes on obviously it's coming up on Christmas so I'm sure most people at 343 and all the other studios working on the MCC are probably off for holidays now, so nothing crazy will happen before Christmas. But I'm sure we can expect to hear about Combat Evolved pretty soon after the new year. I'm sure they're going to start fighting for that game pretty pretty quickly uh, as soon as Christmas and New Year's is over. I'm in the boat where I think that game is going to come out in February time. I know that seems pretty soon, but to be fair, the game is already on PC, so I don't see why it would take that long to get released. I recently did a Joe commentary with my really good friend BBK Dragoon on his channel where we talk a lot about this. We also cover a lot of different subjects regarding Halo Reach and the future of it. So if you want to check out that video, I'll link it down in the description. It's like a half an hour chat about everything Halo. So if you want to check it out, I would appreciate it. But moving on from your armor in Halo looking very, very nice. I want to talk a little bit about the Xbox Series X and how it has the ability to look absolutely beautiful. First, I thought the shape looked very, very odd. I was not a fan of the new design of the Xbox, but after looking at it for a little bit, I got more used to it. I kind of came around to the idea of it a little bit more. But today on Twitter, I saw an image of a fan-made Xbox design that I thought was absolutely incredible. Xbox Pope on Twitter is kind of well known for making these crazy, crazy Xbox designs themed around different things, mainly just different games. So today he posted one that was a Halo-themed Xbox Series X that I absolutely fell in love with. I'll put a photo of it on the screen right now, but if an Xbox Series X came out and it looked like this, instant buy for me absolutely easy purchase i've always been such a huge fan of themed xboxes whether it be around a different game or whatever like a movie or something i just think the idea of them is really really cool but i do wonder if microsoft is going to have a halo themed xbox to go along with it i know the console will just come out so it might confuse some people whether is this the official design is this just a themed one i don't know consumers can sometimes be not the smartest people out there. It's very easy for people to get confused. But if not at release, I hope they do one down the line at some stage, just because I really, really want the chance to have like a little fusion coil Xbox sitting below my TV. Okay, there's actually one kill in this game. Come on team, we can totally do this. Come on teammate, just rush him, rush him and make him dead. Yes, we did it. Okay, my heart was in my mouth. I hate games that are this close. They always terrify me. Hey, I leveled up. Nice. Love to see it. Oh, I just unlocked Pestilence. Oh, hell yes, brother. I'm now a stinky boy. Oh, but Nick, you're always a stinky boy. Shh, quiet you, okay? I don't want to hear it. I'll be honest with you, it's actually kind of disgusting, the fact that 
goop or whatever that is just falls off of me, but it is what it is. As soon as I get inclement weather, then everything will be okay in the world. We're right, back on Highlands. This is the map that I was the most excited to play with Halo Reach kind of re-releasing as I never really played this one back in the day. My final judgment on this map now that I've played it a few times is, well, it's okay. It's, it's all right. Oh, yep, and I hate it. Just like that. Don't get me wrong, from a graphic standpoint, I absolutely adore this map. It might be my favorite looking Halo map just because of the absolutely amazing skybox going on. But I find myself getting absolutely pooped on in some form of the word every single time that I play it. I don't know why or what it is. Maybe I'm just way too aggressive and roll out in the open too much, but doesn't go well for me whatsoever. But that hasn't stopped me from grinding Halo Reach like crazy. I don't know what it is or why it is, but I find myself having so much fun on Reach like I never ever did back in the day. It is so, so nice just to have that feeling of wanting to get on, just to play Halo every single day, just to enjoy the game. I get on and just play casually whenever I'm not making a video or streaming. That makes it sound like I hate Halo and only do it for the content, which is not true at all, but I was always just afraid of, you know, getting burnt out or not really wanting to play the game for videos or streaming if I just played it too much in my spare time. But with this, I just can't help myself. With this, I cannot help but get on, want to rank up, get new armor, and just keep going from there. Even though I've already unlocked the armor that I like to wear in the game, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to keep going just to get everything else because I want to have everything in the game possible. But today is a very, very scary slash important day for me because tomorrow the new Star Wars movie comes out. I've sat all day today kind of being nervously excited about it because there's been a lot of talk about this movie, whether it's going to be good, whether it's going to be bad, and I have no idea how to feel about it. Obviously, I hope it's really, really good. I'm in the boat where I didn't really enjoy The Last Jedi. I was not a huge fan of it, but that doesn't stop me from still being very, very excited for this. I cannot wait to see it. I cannot wait to see how it turns out, what the story is like. Obviously, I don't know anything about it because I stay about three miles away from the idea of spoiling. But Star Wars has definitely been in a bit of a weird spot. We've been getting some pretty good Star Wars media though recently with The Mandalorian coming out. The new Star Wars game was absolutely amazing. So hopefully this movie continues that trend of recent Star Wars success and turns out to be very, very good. I know some of you might not care about Star Wars, but something that I really, really love and it's something that I deeply hope comes out and is very, very good once again. But feel free to drop a comment down below. Are you excited about Star Wars? Are you just nervously pessimistic about it now and you don't really care? To think too much about it oh my goodness but to be honest with you even if it comes out i'll probably still enjoy it in some way just because i don't know that entire star wars universe just makes me happy so <laughs> i think it would be impossible for me to truly truly hate one seems both teams in this game aren't really too interested in going for a flag cap or more so just sitting here getting kills and waiting for the other team to make a move <laughs> which is very very annoying i'm uh, not a fan of whenever ctf games turn into this because it becomes very very slow and boring okay we're gonna take this mongoose come on teammate you wanna, you wanna get on? Yeah, 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 let's go. Me and my teammate, we're gonna make the play. Oh my goodness, the ghost is chasing me. I need my teammate sniper to shoot this ghost, please. Please, yes, he actually did it. Oh my goodness, my teammate killed it. That is an absolute miracle. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way around, all the way around. You're gonna go up the chute in the mongus. Oh, just sideways, but it's okay. Yes, we got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, there is a warthog over here, my buddy. Please follow me. Okay, it's okay. I got the rocket. I got the rocket. There you go. Took him out. No, the entire team is here. <sighs> that was nearly the play. If they didn't all just appear there, we would have been fine. Ooh, look at my stinky body. I just realized that I have passed still on. Oh, it's so nasty. <laughs> Maybe if I smell bad enough, the enemy team won't want to deal with me. Nope, nope, they definitely don't care. They definitely do not care. Uh, well, that game ended in a draw, unfortunately. It, uh, it really do be like that sometimes. <laughs> it's very tough to pull the flag, okay? There's so many people slaying out, it makes it nearly impossible. But I think that's gonna do me for today's video, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know what armor you wanna unlock in this game. Thankfully, I've already got mine. I got very, very lucky. But make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're brand new. We're trying to hit 70k subscribers by the end of the year. We're getting closer every single day. So thank you all so much for hanging out. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.